What's going on, everybody? This is Super Robot, and we got one more retro review to do for the night, and it is none other than the uh, what is this? Generations. This who oh, is going way back? Transformers Generation. I guess it's Deluxe Class Drift. Now, this was a very sought after character, especially the Dakar version. I owned it. I no longer own it. <laughs> But that's because it was worth a boatload of money and it is still worth a boatload of money. The US version, not so much. You could probably get it for about, you know, maybe 30, 40 bucks or something like that. But um, we were waiting on this figure for quite some time because of, you know, all of the um, talk and everything. So I'll give a little history. The vehicle mode is a cross between a Nissan Silva S15 and the Mitsubishi FTO in vehicle mode. The dual swords are stored under the doors, and there's one long sword underneath. Um, the character design was by Joe Kaidi and Shogo Hasui. Um, this was supposed to be, uh, you know, this was supposed to be like a very just awesome figure, but I'm telling you, the Dakari paint blows this out the water. But unfortunately, I'm not spending that much money because, as always, you know sooner or later, we're going to get a drift. So let's look at the vehicle mode. All right. So this is back in the days where the cars were pretty large and he is dirty. Yes, because he's been in a bin that he should not have been in. I won't go into that. <laughs> well, you know, not need to talk about that. But the car mode, pretty cool. He has headlights, man. Come on, has bro. Look at what you gave us like, like 15 years ago, 14, uh, 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 14, 15 years ago Um, in the back. I mean, even though this is the US version, he still has a lot of paint apps, and of course, he has the Butterfoss design on the side, you know. Then on the bottom, he's got the Soarware stores, and yes, he is yellowing. But if you ever own the original Drift versus the Takara version, he is this color. He's pretty much off-white, whereas the Takara version is all-white. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time on this review, because like I said before, it's very simple. It's just the car, it just transforms and... We'll compare them to a modern car. The only car I had available was Red Alert, and it's weird, they're the same color, right? And as you can see here, this is vastly bigger than this. Vastly, this is way out of scale almost. But this was a different time. Everything was, I guess you could say, it's not necessarily inflation. This is better in a sense all around compared if you want to go because of this modern. But compared to this, it's more, you know, just the way it is. So we'll take a quick peek and look at them together. All right. And as you can see, like I said before, this is would not fit in scale today. It would just be like a big overgrown car. Um, we're going to pause for the cause, get this into robot mode, and we'll be back in two and two. All right. We're back by YouTube Magic, and we have Drift in his robot mode. And basically, we're going to go over articulation. Let's look at the weapons first. He does come with the sword. Yes, I painted silver like 400 years ago and I had to take silver off because it just flaked off. It's that rubbery plastic so it doesn't adhere to the toy like it should. But that's the weapon and the Japanese version, I think they, I'm not sure, man, I only had the Japanese version less time than I had this one. Because at the time, nobody really wanted to buy this one. But that's the sword and it bends. It's, it's soft rubber, okay? And it's got kanji on it. Here and there, and then it's got the little yellow, and that's the hilt. So he comes with these two little choppy, choppy blades, and you can put the blade in his hand, and you know he could be like, "I'm gonna chop you," "I'm gonna chop you," "I'm gonna chop." You. He's got these little, like he' about to go and cook some food or something. You know what I'm saying? Like he' about to dice and slice. So let's go over articulation. So the arm is a 360, has a uh, elbow here, and I think it's a double elbow, so we can kind of do that. But that's because it's part of transformation. The arm does swivel in and out, so you can do the this. Uh, the fists do rotate, again, but that's because they're on the ball joint and part of transformation. No waist swivel. <laughs> Leg goes out to about right there. Leg on the other side goes back to here. That nice little far back. And of course, the sheath go inside the doors, which the doors on like a ball joint hinge, so you can kind of angle them however you want. Um, as far as the Autobot symbol, if this was the Japanese version, this would be all white. There would be no Autobot symbol. Autobot symbol would be in the middle. Um, no, no, no. He would have the Autobot symbol just be all white. It's just, this is just more white. And the head can look around. Just three, and he could kind of do a 360. 
you got to kind of angle it up now he does angle his head up again all part of transformation but you can get that and if you could see the head sculpt there all right that's pretty good so you know he was very just sought after and he was repainted into the idw blur i do have him i just don't know where he is right now <laughs> in fact i found the long rifle like where my video games were i never understand that but you know you can get him to two you know choppy choppies and then you can take this and there's this the lift on the back which opens up and then you can take this and kind of you know slide it in like like she said and then once you do that that's it and you kind of can angle it so it doesn't go up against the feet he has good stance um you like i say he looks crazy if i don't slide it all the way down now, i know a lot of people they have their drifts that kind of break here because the clear plastic and i do see where there's indentations there i'm not 100 percent sure if it's going to break over time but i think that's just the way it was designed because like i said before i've had this figure since what 09 010 whatever the year this figure came out i've had it he said i have both of them all right so we're just going to compare him with some of the modern transformers and a few of the idw figures that i have and I wish he had feet tool. There's a lot I love about this figure. There's a lot I hate. Overall, I love it. Yes, I know he's suffering from the yellowing. All right, but it's okay. And we're going to show him off with some IDW and a uh, modern transformer. So we're definitely going to use Red Alert as a perfect example. Um, he's smaller. Most of the deluxes are smaller. Um, but he has the modern articulation with weight swivel and everything like that. So... I can see them doing an, a drift in, you know, he's going to be in this size. And, of course, the only other IDW character I have floating around. I don't know what the heck I'm going to do with the thing. I just, I just, oh, there he is. Man, he was hiding, boy. Yo, he was hiding. IDW Tarn. Um, I know I got the weapon in raw hand, but you can see, of course, he's Voyager and, you know, He's still fairly big, though. Let me see. I can have him. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right. So we are going to go ahead and just do the final thoughts. And I got to say, on the final thoughts, I do love Drift overall. Despite the flaws, despite, you know, it was a fun figure to have. It was a fun figure to pick up. The chase to get him was fun. Finally got him from, like, Toys R Us back when Toys R Us used to actually uh still do free shipping and all that stuff like that so um i really wish they give him a modern update i mean i think it's time i mean there's been so many other figures you know we're getting this we're getting everything of course but he should we we need him we need a modern version of drift that's just that's just me we just need a modern version of drift man but i still have him on the shelf standing with the rest of the autobots um I don't care that he's not the modern version. I just love the sculpt of this thing. I mean, look at it, man. Too bad I don't have like a turntable. I need to buy one, but look at it. I mean, Hasbro and Takara or whoever designed this, they did a good job in my opinion. You know, even though it's dirty, I know it's been, it's in a bin that it shouldn't be in. Let's just put it that way. But yeah, it's a pretty cool figure. I think for what it's worth, you definitely get your money's worth. Let's just get closer. And the overheat lamp warning is on, but we're at the end. So if you can still pick this up for a decent price, if you can get the Takar version for a decent price, oh my God, good luck with that. But um, if you can, you got a better a better painted version. But if you can pick this one up, this is just as good. Um, I, I, I gotta say, I just still like him. I don't care what nobody says. <laughs> I still like him. So all right, everybody, this is Super Robot Ed. And like I said before, we're going to be doing more retro reviews. But like I say, from here on in, most of my retro reviews are going to go to memberships. So again, we can see you soon. Bye-bye. Memberships.